Law and Justice has launched a proper campaign program offensive from Monday to Saturday. The ruling party will present more proposals. The program, as it is usually with us, covers a huge range of issues, sometimes even quite detailed, such as the tradition of our party. But there are points that are worth presenting, worth showing, because they are really important. No more junk and doors glued together with an adhesive tape. The Friendly Housing Estate Program plans to modernize thousands of large slab blocks of flats built in Poland since the 1960s. It's a program that calls for the installation of elevators where they don't exist, especially in over four-story high apartment buildings, the expansion of garages, parking spaces, thermal modernization, replacement of gas, electric where needed, water and sewage systems, but also photovoltaics on the roofs of these apartment buildings. According to Law and Justice, the living conditions of some 8 million Poles who live in apartment buildings made of large slabs should be improved. So about one-fourth of Poles live in apartment buildings built of large slabs, ones that were mostly inherited from the communist era, but were also still built at the beginning of the Third Polish Republic, and they need revitalization and also a more friendly environment. The United Right has been investing in housing policy for years. Soon after the elections won in 2015, it announced the Apartment Plus program, which consisted of building low-cost apartments for rent. The Housing Plus program is just one element of this national housing program. On the other hand, if we look at our housing activities as a whole, they are good. They have good results. We have what we wanted most at the beginning, that is an increased amount of housing in Poland and an increased rate of housing availability. The 2% loan was launched this year. The Ministry of Development and Technologies program is open to people under the age of 45 who have neither an apartment nor a house. The idea of law and justice burned to the ground. We had several housing programs for eight years. Now we have a 2% credit program. And because of this, prices in the market have risen. The program that goes precisely in the direction of this loan, which Minister Buda speaks about repeatedly, is a sensation program that is already bringing a lot of interest, a lot of applicants. And it's really booming, while we also can't forget about the people who live in such places that also require some kind of renovation. The cost of revitalization for large panel settlements is at least 5 billion zwolta in the first year. The program is planned to last at least 10 years. At the same time, everything must be done to start building housing. Meanwhile, in Poland's big cities in particular, there is a shortage of land for construction. The so-called apartment blocks, which were built over at least three decades in the People's Republic of Poland, provide a great opportunity precisely in terms of space, a lot of opportunities for for architects to fill in this often green space. The Law and Justice Convention will be held this Saturday in Koinskie. During the event, the entire program of the ruling party will be presented.